Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and in today's video I'm going to give you my top 10 most wanted 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays from 20th Century Studios. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd, that movie guy 365 Okay, in this video, I will be continuing my series on the most wanted 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays from a particular movie studio. This time, I will be covering 20th Century Studios, formerly known as 20th Century Fox. Back when they were 20th Century Fox, they did participate in the release of several 4K titles, and there's quite a few there that are really, I would feel, demo-worthy and some of the best that are actually available on the physical format. But now with the Disney buyout, those catalog titles are called into question whether they're actually going to be getting a release at some time in the future. I know there have been recent rumors that Heat and Speed, starring Keanu Reeves, is actually coming to 4K physical Blu-ray. So with that knowledge in mind, I decided to go ahead with my list. This is actually purely a wish list. Who knows if these are actually going to be given a 4K physical format release, but hey, one can just, you know, hope for the best. In regards to the recent rumor of Michael Mann's Heat appearing on 4K physical Blu-ray, I believe there is enough substance to the rumor that this will actually be appearing on 4K Blu-ray this year, so regrettably, this will be not on my top 10 list. And as always, I just have to mention that this is, of course, my particular list. It's very subjective, but I really encourage you to put in the comment section below what you would like to see on the 4K format from 20th Century. So with that out of the way, let's dive into my number 10. My number 10 is going to be Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, starring Paul Newman and Robert Redford. This is a classic Western, which I feel as a genre is pretty underrepresented on the 4K Blu-ray format, but this is a great movie. And classic cinema really shines on the format. This would be an amazing film to get. I think HDR would really just bring out those great Western hues, and I think an improved soundtrack is also warranted here. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid need some TLC. The 4K format is perfect for it, so hopefully we will see it one day. My number nine is going to be The Sound of Music, starring Julie Andrews. This is an absolute classic musical, and as musicals go, this is one of my favorites. It really is. It's breathtakingly shot. It has gorgeous cinematography that would particularly shine well on 4K, and the HDR would just do wonders for the color palette. It is a fantastic movie. An upgraded soundtrack with Dolby Atmos would just really put this over. Sound of Music is a great film. It has shined on Blu-ray for many years, but taking it up a notch to the 4K Blu-ray format would be a most welcome surprise. For my number eight, I'm gonna give that to another musical, and that would be Moulin Rouge, starring Ewan McGregor and Nicole Kidman. I just recently rewatched this one on Blu-ray, and if anybody has seen the movie, you would know that HDR with this film would just look amazingly awesome. It would look fantastic. An upgraded soundtrack would also go a long way to giving this movie the proper love it deserves. It is a great, I would say, modern era musical. It has fantastic performances. Costuming is spectacular, spectacular. I just, I revisit it quite often. A 4K would be amazing here. Hopefully we get this one day. Moulin Rouge is definitely on my wish list and for good reason. My number seven is going to be David Fincher's Fight Club starring Brad Pitt and Edward Norton. Whenever I go on like Facebook groups or forums, Fight Club is really a top of many people's list for a 4K Blu-ray to come out. I feel that it would really shine with HDR. It would bring out the shadow details and black levels very nicely, and the soundtrack would get an added boost if they decided to open it up with a brand new Atmos mix. This is a really one of my favorite David Fincher movies, and it would sound and look fantastic on 4K Blu-ray. I know a lot of people agree with this, so yes, Fight Club is my number seven. For my number six, I'm gonna give that to Terrence Malick's The Thin Red Line. As far as war movies go, this is definitely not your typical one. And if you are a fan of the director, you know he has a certain style to it. And this is such a beautifully made movie. The cinematography, the score, the action, it all would just shine on 4K. It would be breathtaking in my opinion. HDR would just take that war-torn land and really bring it to life. And an Atmos mix, 
would be top notch. It would really just elevate this movie to a whole new level. It's a very long film and it's not for everybody. The director, as I mentioned, has a style to him, but really if you are a fan of this film, you can't help but wonder what a 4K would really just bring out in this movie. Thin Red Line is my number six. Number five is Edward Scissorhands from director Tim Burton. Now, I believe this does have a 4K digital version on the various platforms, but if I'm not mistaken, there is no HDR applied here. So I think a 4K physical release with HDR applied is more than warranted from the style of movie that it is. It is a fantastic modern fairy tale from the director, and I feel it's visually one of his best movies. It is absolutely stunning. And I can't help but wonder what this would look like on a proper 4K release. The HDR of the neighborhood, those various houses that, you know, with their color schemes and the snow and just the overall the scenery of this movie just would look fantastic. I am a big fan of this movie. I'm hoping we get a proper 4K physical release down the line. And yes, Edward Scissorhands is my number five. My number four is The Planet of the Apes starring Charlton Heston. I would absolutely love all of the Planet of the Apes movies on 4K, but if I could only pick one, the original would of course be top of the list. This is classic sci-fi action at its best, and as we know, classic movies look absolutely fantastic on 4K. I think also the cinematography would lend itself very well to an HDR enhancement. This would be great. I'm not quite sure an Atmos mix would actually be possible with this 4K release, but I would take anything remastered here. It would just be fantastically done on 4K. I think this would also be on a lot of people's list as well. But yeah, if I could only get one of the Planet of the Apes movies, it would be the original. So yes, that would be on my list. My number three is Ridley Scott's The Kingdom of Heaven, specifically the director's cut. I feel this version of the movie is one of Ridley Scott's most underappreciated films out there. It is epic in every way, shape, or form. It is a beautifully made, beautifully shot, and just an overall compelling story. Of course, I single out the director's cut of this movie because it really fills in a lot of the gaps that the theatrical just left wanting. But if they're going to release this on 4K, do us all a favor, put this on the, the director's cut version, an HDR Dolby Atmos mix would be top notch. I think really, in my opinion, the Kingdom of Heaven is fantastic. Definitely want to see this on 4K. Number two is going to go to Master and Commander, starring Russell Crowe and Paul Bettany. This movie, I feel, goes under the radar a lot of the times, but if you are a fan of not only the books that these are based on, but the film itself, you know what a 4K just ramped up would do for this film. The whole naval combat aspect would sound wonderful on a Dolby Atmos setup. This would, I mean, the Blu-ray itself is also just really nice. It, is, it has a fantastic audio mix, but amp that up to an Atmos. You've got something I feel that few movies could touch. Would take those dark interior ship scenes and the overall atmosphere and just give it a whole new layer. I think a 4K edition of Master and Commander is really just, in my opinion, needed, and hopefully one day we will get it. Before I get to my number one, just a couple of quick honorable mentions. Cast Away from director Robert Zemeckis starring Tom Hanks. This movie, I feel, would look and sound fantastic on 4K. Just the overall atmosphere alone would warrant an upgrade in the audio department, and the HDR would bring out that tropical setting really nicely. I, I would be very happy to see this on the 4K format. Also, Patton would be another film I would like to see on 4K. George C. Scott is iconic in his role, and of course those type of war movies really look and sound fantastic. And finally, the rest of the Die Hard movies. I'm just going to throw all of them up there, but specifically I would say Die Hard 2 and Die Hard with a Vengeance. I would like to see those. I know they are on 4K digital already, but a physical release for us physical media collectors would be great. I want to see these, and I know a lot of people do as well. And my number one pick for top 10 most wanted 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays, that is going to go to James Cameron. Look, you know, I could do a whole separate video talking about James Cameron and his movies and what we like to see. And as luck would have it, 20th Century Pictures is the distributor of these movies. 
Now, a lot of these aren't even on the Blu-ray format. Some are, but, you know, movies like True Lies and The Abyss would absolutely just look fantastic. We don't have a Blu-ray edition of these movies. So jump right in, give it a proper 4K release, and also Titanic, Avatar, while they do have physical Blu-ray releases, an upgrade in the 4K department I know would just really be the cherry on top. James Cameron, yes, he's going to be, while technically not a title, his library is sorely missing on the 4K format, and really, honestly, what else could be number one? So that is my top 10 most wanted 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray list from 20th Century. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on other studios, I will go ahead and leave a link for that in the comments section. But I also want to hear from you. What would you put on your top 10 personal list? In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.